When replacing a data stream with an Ethernet packet-based system, there are a number of challenges. This short video will explain how such connections to legacy equipment can be done without modifying the equipment. For this video, we will treat the data transmission as though we are sending water through a hose. The hose is a direct connection and water simply flows from one end to another. However, when the data is transmitted using Ethernet packets, it looks like a conveyor belt transporting buckets of water. Each bucket symbolizes a packet. The data flow now is a series of buckets. The flow is no longer a steady flow, but a series of buckets being emptied, followed by a gap before the next bucket arrives. To allow for a continuous flow, adding a water tank at location B that will fill to a certain level allows water to be drained from the tank at a steady rate, which compensates for the irregular flow provided by the buckets. In this case, the water tank acts as a buffer. In the previous example, the use of the buffer allowed a steady output while the buckets were arriving. But what happens if the buffer is drained too quickly? The buffer will eventually become empty and no flow will occur until more data arrives. This situation is called a buffer underrun. Similarly, if the buffer is drained too slowly, then the buffer will fill up and eventually overflow causing a loss of data, which is called a buffer overflow. To compensate for this, we vary the output rate to keep the buffer from emptying or overflowing, adding indicators to show the level. This means the flow can be slowed to stop the buffer from emptying. Conversely, a higher flow rate will be used to stop the buffer from overflowing. The primary cause of changing the flow rate is caused by packet delay variation, which is the variation in delay between packets shown by larger or smaller gaps between the water buckets in the animation. The use of the buffer, or in this case the water tank, and the output flow variation compensates for the delay variation. As you will see from this example, if you have a long delay, you will need a larger buffer, otherwise the buffer can be emptied while waiting for more packets. For more information on TC Communications products and solutions, please visit our website at tccomm.com. Thank you for watching.